angry guy here. Today we're discussing how a house in the Philippines cost only $52 a month to rent. That is absolutely insane. We're going to be checking this out and seeing how these people are living and what you can get for just $52 a month. Today we're discussing how we're discussing some of the cheap living in the Philippines and looking at a cheap house, how you can pay only $52 a month to rent a house in the Philippines. I'm going to go ahead and put that up on the screen in just a moment for you guys so you can check it out. It's absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Guys, I should be playing video games right now, but here I am making videos for you. I want you to really appreciate that. Uh, I want you to, you know, I want you guys to I want you guys to appreciate the hard work that I put into this for you guys cuz I could be doing other things. So this is a cheap house. You know, this is a $52 house. And yes, you're going to say, "Well, this is not this is not like that incredible." This is $52, guys. This is $52 in the Philippines. All right? This is absolutely incredible. Check this out. All right? $52. Let's go ahead all right, this is coming from Isa Pamela Ch Pamelia Channel. This is a fam family in the Philippines. Look how beautiful these people are. Look how beautiful their skin is. Beautiful skin color. So happy. They have their family. They may not be rich, but they have family. And they look so happy. Everyone is so happy that the weather is nice over there. And if you notice, everything is in English. They, like there's this notion that people do not speak English. I'll actually put on Put it on so that you guys can hear what she's saying. Let's see what she's speaking. Okay, so, uh, so today's video, we're going to show you the house of our friend. This is like an uh, orphanage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, there's so many here. I found out many playmates here. So yeah, come inside. Oh, know? gosh, look at that. English. Where's the owner of the house? <laughs> the owner of the house is relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> so we have here, like, the owner, my friend, Anya. The owner of the house. So they're living here, like, how many? Three? Three uh, months already. No, months only. a two months. Look how beautiful these women are. Look how slim they are compared to the land whales that we have in America. Look how slim and happy and beautiful these women are. And they're not covered in loads of makeup because they're actually healthy. Oh, my gosh. And look at their clothing. Their clothing is so clean. They're clean. You can tell these, these women actually love to bathe. So it, that's another very important thing. Filipinas love to bathe. They are such clean people. Very, very clean people. So just recently moved. Similar house. Okay, let me tell you about Filipinas. If they shit, they shower. If they shit, they shower. This is just how these people are. I just want y'all to think about this. All right? This is this is how clean these people are. If they shit, they shower. Two hours, huh? Yeah, but different price. And different project, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Good different for, different architect. Good for small people, you know. This is like a habit house. <laughs> For dwarf people, so did she have like balcony. Yeah, like a balcony. Balcony. We have Susha. Susha, hi. Say hi. Hi, Susha. <laughs> okay. The sala, we have the first... Tell me about it. So this is the sala, salon. How you got that? Dining without furniture, guys. We don't need. <laughs> but there is fridge. There is fridge. Yeah, this is very most important. Uh, there is no s see, see. Yeah, so iron roof, so it can be hot during daytime. Hot like in our like me. In <laughs> <laughs> very hot without show me. Food. Show me more. Yeah, here. Let's go to the bedroom. Yeah. Bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, like this house is good enough for the small family, like few, two to three person, you know. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, she's look, 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 look at the poverty these people are in. That looks like a, that is a Mac. That is a Mac. Oh my gosh. So they have internet in this place, and they and she has her laptop set up in here. Oh my goodness, look at the poverty. 
bedroom, double deck. Double deck. Double deck. Oh my goodness, look at the poverty. These poor people. Guys, can you imagine the land wills that are watching these videos right now? They're like, oh my gosh, look at the part. This is not poverty, but oh my goodness. Yeah. And look at everything. Everything is in English. 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 It always seems impossible until it's done, right? Every Everything I've seen so far is in English. Pictures of America. New York. Look at New York. I think that's the Brooklyn Bridge. Statue of Liberty. I don't know what bridge this one right here is on the, on the bottom. Okay, it's a picture of an anchor. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, they even have a gun, huh? Yeah, so don't mess with Anya. So we have like open window here. You, you can, you... They have the open window on and they have a nice fan set up there so that any cool air just comes in and and, and, the, and the fans blowing on it. Look how set, look how set up. And shake hands with neighbors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give the food here, you know, through the window. <laughs> give the food? Yeah. yeah. Fire! Mommy. Oh, let's go to the kitchen. I'm telling y'all, I'm not putting up with shit. Like, I'm not putting up with shit. I'm going to, I'm going to get myself a. A nice fellow. I could go to Thailand, honestly. You know, I've traveled so I've traveled on, on my own for quite a while, but I, I'm I think I'm gonna go get a I'm gonna get a Filipina because I like someone who's clean. I like the, the, the extreme cleanliness of Filipinas. I really really love that. Like I said, you know, if they shit they shower. I really like that extreme cleanliness of Filipinas. I love that. You know, they'll they'll shit if they can shower if they can bathe three times a day. They're gonna wash their ass three times a day three times a day okay and there's some people like oh, daddy, you don't know why you're bathing three times a day that's that's gonna damage your skin fuck y'all fuck people anyone's out here saying shit like three times a day is gonna damage your skin soap of water three times a day is gonna damage your skin fuck these people fuck these people they're nasty fucking people nasty people that's a listen, listen to me these are some medieval people medieval people going back to the day the eras when people didn't bathe every day, nasty fucking people. If you shit every day, you need to wash your ass every day. All right, that's the bare minimum. If you shit every day, you need to wash your ass every day. I don't know what's wrong with some people. Jen, let's go to the gym. And I don't, and I, I will go a step further. If you go to the gym, if you work out, like this is something I straight up don't understand. How the fuck do you go to the gym and work out and you don't shower? Like literally, like all right. When I would go and work out, when I go to the gym and I go work out, like you know, for example, I wake up in the morning, I wash my ass, and then I go to the gym, and after I work out, I'm sweaty. So what do I do? I wash my ass again. All right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It doesn't mean I have to spend a million hours and spend like a shitload of time in there. Jump in for like five, ten minutes. You know, wash up, and yeah, and of course I'm gonna have to like. You know, put lotion back on, lotion or oils, you know, because I, I need to moisturize, okay? But I got to wash my ass again. I'm just saying, I, if I work out, I've got to wash my ass again, you know, because I'm covered in sweat. I'm covered in, like, you know, that's it's salty. It's gross. And, my, and I'm going to change my clothes and, you know, changing my clothes, changing my underwear. So I'm going to go through a lot of underwear because I'm, you know, I wake up in the morning, I wash my ass, you know, that's, that's one pair of underwear. I go to the gym, I wash my ass, you know. I, I I go to the gym. I wash my ass again. I gotta change my underwear again because you know, on the I was wearing that's sweaty. So you know that's um. So now so you know, I went through two pairs of underwear right there. I come home in the evening, right? Because like you know I've been at work all day, and I've been out all day. And guess what? You sweat. You sweat throughout the day. You sweat throughout the day because that's like eight, nine, ten hours that I'm away from my home or more. So you know what? After a long day, you know what I'm going to do? I might just hop in the shower. And I'm going to wash my ass again. And people are like, oh, you are freaking insane. You're insane. No, it's America. We're, here in America, we're insane. Here in America, we're insane. Okay? We are insane. Listen, listen to me. You're supposed to wash your ass when you wake up in the morning and wash your ass when you go to sleep at night. And some people are like, oh, well, you know. I mean, if you wash your ass at nighttime, then you don't have to wash again in the morning. Because you're not, it's not like you're doing any physical activity while you're sleeping. And I can understand that argument. I can I can kind of understand that argument. But at the same time, at the same time, when you're sleeping, like, you know, when you're that's still like a lot of time. That's like six to eight hours for most people. 
you know, you're laying in one place for six to eight hours. We're still human beings. You know, there's going to be some smells. I don't think there's anything wrong with washing your ass when you come home in the evening, washing your ass when you wake up in the morning, and washing your ass again after you work out. You know, I just don't see anything wrong with it. I think that's something that we should all do. We should constantly wash our ass. And, and that's just that's just how I view things. And Filipinos, you know, they're about that life. They're about that washing your ass life. And I'm, I'm just not, and I really, really like that. I really like people who are obsessed with washing their ass. Can you show the kitchen, So, yeah, we have the owner here, guys. I found the owner. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Galit siya, galit. Yeah, so you can see that a lot of this house is built using cinder blocks. So what? This is, I mean, this is good. Fifty-two dollars a month. Oh my gosh! Angry, angry. They have internet in this. They have internet in this house. You know, the Philippines, like I said, is a predominantly warm place. Fifty-two dollars a month, guys. Fifty-two dollars a month. I want you all to think about 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 that. Fifty-two dollars a month. They have better kitchen than us, guys. Oh, yes. Yeah. You know, I like With it. With ties, huh? Ties. Not like ours, only concrete. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, like here, Small. it's nice. And it's good because it's open, so everything... Ventilated. Ventilated. Look how beautiful this woman is. Look how look at her skin. Not covered in shitty-ass makeup, okay? And she, you could tell, and, and she likes to wash her ass, all right? Look at this. And, and look at the crap. And look how slim she is. And these people, they eat. They, they're not starving. They eat, and they eat well. The thing is, they're not eating the garbage we eat here in America. Okay? They cook their own food, and their food is healthy. Their food is good. And a lot of their food is Spanish-inspired. Okay? These people, eat ton these people eat tons of pork and all kinds of other shit. But the way that they prepare their food is different. Like Let's mm -hmm. go, Mom. Let's go to the toilet. And the no, bathroom, huh? Really? <laughs> this is for the only for uh, for Susha. It's only for Susha, the size of the toilet. You, you know, guys, I, I try it and it's hard to feed. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> you need to be more flexible. For one. <laughs> Bit dark. Uh, yeah. see you go water. To the, to the toilet, you toilet to bowl. Something I want to tell you guys that's really strange. This is something that I experienced when I was. Because I've visited Mexico. This is one thing that's so strange, like in Mexico. And you can see it, like, and again, it's like, uh, I guess it's the same in, like, the Philippines. Maybe, like, toilet seats. Like, if you go into, like, a bathroom, it's not uncommon for there not to be, for, for them to not have a toilet seat. Like, you go to Walmart in Mexico, and there's no toilet seat. You go to the gas station, there's no toilet seat. Like, you, like even, so, even some people, like, you go to their house, there's no toilet seat. You're like, why isn't there a toilet seat? It's a strange thing. And it's like, I guess it's like in the Philippines too, like no toilet seat. I don't know. <laughs> Yoga person. <laughs> so this is good, you know. Anya, you don't need to you don't need to have yoga, you know. Just go to the toilet a few yeah, times a day. You can, you know, put your leg upside down if you want to. And the small dining. Like a dining. But I think she doesn't use this for you know, you're, you're eating yeah, here? No, not really. She's eating in the balcony, you know. Yeah. So, so she put like yeah. washing machine, mm, everything, washing machine. small sink. How is it called? Washing machine, guys. Washing machine. A lot of us don't even have a washing machine in our homes. Like, like people are like, oh well, this is like a little, this is like a little so and so. This place, guys, they're paying fifty-two dollars a month. She has her computer set up. She has a washing machine. She has a dining area. She has a kitchen. All right, you know, I mean, everything is not perfect in life. Some people are like, "Oh, look at that bathroom." Yeah, look at your bathroom. Some people don't even have. Some people barely have a have are doing much better than this. I'm telling y'all, like people are so full of it. And this is, and this is just fifty two dollars right. a month. This is only fifty two dollars a month. All right. Mm -hmm. And this is the back. Uh, the back door. Ah, back, back door. Mommy. Yes, Anton. Yeah, there's a garden at the back. <laughs> it's from the lady. So you can have you can have barbecue here, huh? <laughs> we'll feed. So every day, best like me, I come home. 
Okay. So how much is the price of the Yeah, what about the expenses here? Uh, how much you pay? Sorry, per month, sun per month, and electricity. 3,000 pesos per month. 3,000 pesos per month, that's 52 US dollars. That's what she pays for the to live there. Yeah, electricity is 1,000 to 1,200. So. Electricity, $21 a month in US, 1,200 pesos, which works out to be 21 USD. I thought you guys said something strange. Um, you know, like for example, a thousand pesos in Mexico would be about fifty dollars. Twelve hundred pesos would be sixty dollars. Don't ask me why I know that. I actually was I was chilling over there for a little bit, so I know the Mexican currency. I can calculate that shit off, just off the top of my fucking head. At least for smaller amounts. You're like, how much is a hundred thousand extra pesos? I'm like, I, I, give me a moment. Give me a moment. But like, you know, like a thousand. Like, oh yeah, I I can calculate that shit in an instant. Like ten thousand Mexican pesos, that's gonna be five hundred dollars, you know. So I guess a hundred, yeah, like hundred thousand would be would be five thousand. But yeah, I guess so. It's it's kind of interesting how different their money is. Their money is actually worth less than the Mexican peso because there's a Filipino peso and there's the Mexican peso. I don't know if there's any other pesos out there, but yeah, they have the Mexican peso, the Filipino peso, and it's just insane, like how much cheaper things are in the Philippines. Like, you know, things are pretty cheap in Mexico, depending on how far into Mexico you go. The further into Mexico you go, the cheaper things become. But, like, here, like, 21 USD for electricity. Like, no, you could pay a shitload for electricity in Mexico. But, like, in the Philippines, like, this is really affordable. But, again, it could have to do with the providences where, you know, depending on where you live in the Philippines, too. But it seems it doesn't really matter compared to the United States. You're still going to get a better deal for the most part. One thousand one two. And water is after this raise of the price of electricity, yeah? yeah. What about the water? And then no water here yeah, because yeah, we don't pay much because the water don't really come. <laughs> <laughs> have like, um... So one thing is that you can't drink the water, but you have fil but what you do is you have filtered water. So if you look under the uh if you look under the um what do you call this under under the kitchen area they actually have bottles of water and these are like really cheap to fill up there there are trucks that often come around and you can get the water and it's you know even people living in the united states don't want to drink pipe or tap water there's some people who like who actually like drinking tap water i hate drinking tap water but yeah it's like it's it's kind of it's almost a luxury because in the sense that you, I mean, you, as long as you have to stay up to date with it, you know, you have to stay up to date with your water situation. But aside from that, you know, you, 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 you have, you get constant access to fresh drinking water, which I really like. You get constant access to fresh drinking water, you know, water that's been, uh, water that's been boiled, uh, that's been purified, water that's been purified, and that's really cool because that's very accessible. Problem with the water. So water is like only how many hours in a day? In afternoon, one hour, and then the rest is night time. But oh. enough, yeah. So we need to I have sup live like su this, guys. supplies, huh? Yeah, but for me, guys, this is enough because, being honest, I don't shower. You know? <laughs> <laughs> to save the no water. problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, my husband, so I don't need. Yeah. What? Yeah, she's like this is she's she's like listen to me. She's an outlier. Most Filip Filipinas love to shower. She's like she's like once in the morning. And once in the evening, so she she showers, she washes her ass, but uh, she's like compared to the other to normal Filipino because she doesn't have a husband. If she had a husband, she'd be washing her ass three times a day. Okay, so once in, so she's washing her ass once in the morning, once in the evening, so twice a day even. All right, but if she was with a husband, she'd be washing her ass three times a day. What about the internet? Internet? I don't know. Darius did the top up of the internet. Ah, but okay. You have good internet. Enough for you know for one cell phone and then laptop. Enough for me, yeah. So I can work. But it's only like five hundred to pay for one month. Uh -huh. But you need to have a limit, yeah. You need uh -huh. to have limitation. Don't be abusive, yeah. you know. <laughs> one hour. Okay, two hours so so you can see, yeah. Similar how how hours. Yeah. Similar price. We paying like two thousand, yeah. And she's only she's paying additional one thousand, you know. <laughs> yeah, because they pay three thousand. They're paying two thousand, all right. So they're paying two thousand pesos a month, 52, 1200. I hate like the conversion for me is a little hard because I'd have to get used to like doing uh, the conversion for. Uh, I'm so used to Mexican conversion, so I'd have to get used to like the uh, the conversion for the Philippines. So like, uh, I mean, 
I guess it's not that different. 52, I mean, like I said, in, in, in Mexico, it's like 50, you know, 50, 1,000 pesos is like 50 bucks. So, and here it's like 1,200 is like 50. So it's not, it's not that, no, 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 I'm wrong. No, no, what? No, I'm actually wrong. But they just gave us the numbers again. Hold on a second. Like they gave us the numbers. And I forgot how much she said, like 50, like, like how much is 52, um, 52, 5,200 Filipino pesos? Like 52. Let me try this out. Like I'm trying to like do the calculation. I'm trying to do the calculation for you guys right now. Because I, I want to share that with you. Let me, let me, let me grab my phone again. Because I, 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 they just showed it to us. They literally just showed it to us. Oh my gosh. I tell you, work, 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 work. You guys have me out here working for y'all. Working hard for y'all. Putting out these videos for y'all. What are you doing for me? Okay? What are you doing for me? What are you doing for me, guys? Like, I'll just, I'll just be so honest. Like, I'm here. I'm working, working, working for y'all. What are you doing for me? Okay, Zelda's coming out in a couple of months. You know, who's why? Have, why has no one bought me Zelda yet? Why has you know Tears of the Kingdom? You know, why has no one bought me Tears of the Kingdom yet? Okay, what about my tears? You know, to you know, what about my what about my tears? Let me see your Filipino pesos. All right. So 52 USD to Filipino pesos is actually 2,800. It's actually, it's almost 3,000. 52 US dollars to, to Philippines is almost 3,000. Yeah, so this is a completely different conversion. Because like 20, 21, $21 or something like that is like 1,000. So yeah, this con the conversion is a little off. It's way off for me. I'd have to like rethink the whole conversion system. But yeah, I, I don't know. Just, just, just jump back into this. For the balcony. We don't have, we don't have balcony, so you know. And you know what's interesting? What's interesting is she talks about that you know she they have internet. They pay like five, I think five hundred pesos a, a a month or something, and she doesn't open. She doesn't. She you know I don't I, I don't know what they're set up, but she said it's enough for her. She gets she works. She gets her work done. But it seems like she works at home as well. And I've talked about this, guys. Like you can work at home. You can work at home and you'll be all right. You will be all right. Okay, anyway, so, I mean, I don't know if I want to, I don't think we need to watch the full video. I'm going to link you guys to the video in the description so you can go and check out the full video for yourselves. But I want you to have a look at what, you know, what living is like over there and how cheap you can actually live and how the people actually look over there. And, you know, you know, I mean, this is good living. This is great living compared to, it's, it, $52 a month, come on. Like, in the Philippines, you can hustle that. <laughs> you know, I wanted just to show, share that with you. What do you guys think about this? You know, cheap living in the Philippines. You know, is this something you're interested in? I mean, what do you think? Get yourself a beautiful Filipina. I don't know. Anyway, guys, let me know. That's all I have for you right now. Let me think. You, let me know what you think about the video in the description, in the description, in the comments of the video, and we'll talk more about it. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, which is men walking away. And cheers.